Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another classic album review. Now we can just take albums and some of the greats of the years gone by. And today we've got a really good one. Uh, not going to say too much about how I really feel about this because I haven't ranked this guy yet. And we're talking about Robin Trower or Trower, depends how you pronounce it. And his album, Bridge of Sighs. Now, Robin, of course, um, was the guitarist of Procol Harum between 1967 and 1971. Then he left and to, file, to form his own power trio known as the Robin Trower Band. Um, very successful career as a solo artist as well. Now, Bridge of Size is the second album, and it was a commercial breakthrough for him as a solo artist. Now, the Robin Trower band, of course, is Robin Trower on guitar, James, G James Dewar on the bass and vocals, and Reg Isidore on the drums. Like this band, like this album, but as I've not ranked them yet, I'm not going to go into too much detail um, so the first track on this album is called Day of the Eagle what an opening track it starts off with this great bass line from James and then some of the and then you get this lovely guitar from Robin really I call this a typical three piece power band which is the sound I love I love just Drums, guitar and bass. Absolutely brilliant track. Play this a lot. Love that track. One of my favourite tracks by Robin Trower. Or Trower. I'm going to call him Robin Trower. So the, the second track is the title track, Bridge of Sighs. This is a, a slower track and for, it is a classic for me. I just love Robin's great guitar work on here. You got a, and uh, James's vocals are really good. My favourite track on this album. Then we get in this place, another Sterling track. Highlight on this of his Reggie's uh, drumming and that lovely vocal from James. And then you get these little delicate pieces of guitar from Robin. Superb little track. Then we get The Fool and Me. Now this starts off with a great guitar bit from piece from Robin. Straight in. No mucking about. Then the drums gradually come in from Reg. And then James joins in on the bass. Another great track. Side 2 opens up with two, 2 Rolling Stoned. Love this. This is James and Robin having a lot of fun. Reg just keeps that steady beat. Little bit of funky guitar in there, that's what I like about it. Really good. About to begin, now this is one of the gentler tracks on this one. Um, he's, James's vocals are terrific on this. Great bass line to complement it. And I'm loving Robin's guitar work again, such a great guitar player. Lady Love, any track that's got a little bit of cowbell, absolutely belting. Great little rocker this is. And then the last track is called A Little Bit of Sympathy. One of my favourite tracks on the album. The guitar work at the beginning from Robin is brilliant. Retty's drumming is great on this. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. It's, uh, it's just got that real groove of a three-piece trio band. Great way to end the album. Now, although it commercially did well in... America didn't do anything in this country which is such a I don't it really bugs me when you've got a great guitarist from a great British band and no one seems to buy it if you like local harem you're gonna like Robin Trower Trower I don't know I do love this album though it's one of my favorites so um, it's a breakthrough album from as a solo album artist. 
I think anything that Robin's done is good. He's, he's, he's a real top guitar player. So I shall give this an RTO ranking of 8.5. So there we go. A bit of uh, Robin Trower on a Monday. We will be doing a full album ranking of Procol Harum and Robin Trower. So, but that won't come up probably towards the end of this year. Because we've got a list as long as your arm. Okay, um, I'll be back tomorrow. And... It's a bit of a t uh, funny week this week because we're doing the live album ranking tomorrow because of Friday being a certain day and we do, we're doing a special. So tomorrow's live album ranking is a Nordic Scandinavian power metal band called Pagan's Mind. We've ranked their studio albums but we're going to have a look at their two live albums that are absolutely superb. And also tomorrow is Retro Ranking, and I know there's one, two people are looking forward to this. And that's Simon from, Vi from Dale's Vinyl, and uh, my good friend Mr. Richard McCook are looking forward to this one. So we've got The Carpenters tomorrow doing my top ten songs from The Carpenters, which was such a hard task. So have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.